Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be drawing uh, Felix from Stray Kids. Uh, as you may know from some of my previous videos, I am pretty obsessed with Stray Kids. Uh, I'm very excited because um, I'm going to get to be seeing them uh, in concert later this year, so I'm super excited about that. And I'm sure this will not be the last time I've mentioned it. <laughs> I mention it in the future. But today I'm going to be doing, um, I'm, first of all, I'm sketching uh, Felix out. And then I'm going to be using my Gonzai Tombe uh, watercolor to um, do the painting. So if anybody wants to watch this procedure but does not want to spend um, 13 minutes on it and uh, also doesn't want to listen to me ramble over on TikToks, TikTok under the Messy Cat Creations account, um, I did this um, as a speed version, and so you can watch the whole thing um, start to finish, um, and also get to hear a little bit of Stray Kids in the process because I use one of their songs um, while I'm doing this um, over on TikTok. So. Um, if you don't want to hear me ramble, you can just hop over there and watch that uh, and still get to see the whole process from start to finish. So here I'm drawing out the sketch first and then I will be, you'll see me um, pick up my Gonzai Tombe and I'm using a number 12 uh, Princeton Elite brush. That's my big beefy brush that I like to use. Um, I use that for a big majority of the upcoming uh, video and then um, in the middle I will pick up my Princeton Princeton Velvet Touch um, four round or round number four brush um, for the details and the highlights so I'm going to quit rambling here and I will uh, let you guys listen to some music one more thing before I let you guys listen to some music I did want to uh, apologize because this is one of my older videos that I had already shot before I realized that I needed to be filming from the left side so this is a shot from the right so um, it there are parts of it where you have a hard time seeing what I'm actually doing I tried to um, in the editing process I tried to improve it as much as I could just through editing but from now on I will be shooting everything from the left so that my hands are not in the way so that you can see more of what I'm doing but I did want to apologize so as you saw I um, took a kneaded eraser and lightened up my sketch after it was done and now I just did a uh, wash of water over the whole thing that sets the pencil sketch so that it doesn't smear around um, if you put a layer of water down I don't always do that but right now I'm using these Gonzai Tombe um, more as a watercolor to set the first couple of layers um, and so I'm doing large patches uh, uh, and it's kind of wet on wet so the first few layers um, especially where I'm doing all of the shadows that will come into play later um, that is done more in a watercolor technique but later I will start using it more as a gouache so um, I hope you enjoy this procedure video and um, I will talk to you again later
So now once the first couple of layers of dark shadows are put down and dried, I am coming back in with this blue layer. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue that I've mixed up um, as a wash to kind of lay down um, another layer of full color everywhere um, just to give it a similar tone in all the areas. And then I will go back to um, just small working details. But I did want to do a wash over to, to give it kind of a, a more overall coloration. Uh, it's all of my techniques are just fly by the seat of my pants. I don't pre-plan most of these things, even the colors that I use. I don't pre-plan. Um, they may turn out a lot better if I did pre-plan, but I don't. So there's no guarantee you'll ever see this kind of technique exactly the same as before. I'm using my big beefy brush for the majority of this painting, which is unusual because I usually just lay out um, the big swatches and then go in with more detail and then you'll also see there's later times in the video where I'm using my smaller number four round and I should have been picking up my big beefy brush again because I decide oh I want like a big swatch of color um, and I'm still using my small detail brush I don't ever pre-plan anything and I just get in the zone and just fly by the seat of my pants so <laughs> this is in no way an instructional video it is just showing you my techniques and um, how crazy uh, my techniques are and, and how my work is. Um, there's a reason why our company is called Messy Cat Creations. It's because most of the time I make a mess with everything that I do, um, but somehow it ends up where I'm happy with it. So um, Andrea is much less um, free flowing like this. She is very methodical. She is very well thought out. She is very um, detail oriented. So her drawings are nothing like mine. <laughs> <laughs> and hers are, are much more precise and, and pre-planned. And that's probably why her stuff is a lot better than mine. <laughs> but <laughs> for right now, you guys are stuck with me and my techniques. Um, once Andrea officially quits her job and stops working and starts doing art, you'll get to see more of her techniques. And uh, it'll be less crazy and chaotic and more pre-planned and analytical. <laughs> But I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I will talk to you again later. Here's some more music.
So we're going to be coming to the end of the video soon. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more things like this or if you'd like to see something different. Um, if you have any requests, um, I would be glad to take any challenges you want to throw my way and see what we could do from there. Um, but I did want to say thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the notification button as well. Um, that way you'll be notified whenever I upload again. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.